Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ACB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Uh, not a great day today. I'm not going to say the entire chart is destroyed or anything like that. Uh, but the big event that occurred, and this is by no means some sort of like revolutionary statement or discovery on my part. I assure you anybody that uses charts, understands charts, has noticed this and would agree that, you know, breaking down below the purple line right there, which on my chart denotes the famous 50 period simply moving average, again, doesn't mean the entire chart is destroyed or anything like that. But that's definitely, you know, the chart loses some attractiveness when it, it's broken down through there. Now, again, there's a big difference between losing attractiveness and being totally destroyed. So, yes, this one has lost attractiveness, but it's by no means been totally destroyed or anything like that. So kind of the moral of that story is the sooner the price can get back up above that purple line, the better. And currently going into next week, the value of the 50 period moving average right there at six dollars and 60 cents. So that is one of those areas where, like I said, yeah, as soon as the price can get back above there, that's definitely going to kind of put the, the, the chart back on the trajectory that it was on. Another way to just illustrate all this is, you know, there, there had been a very solid trend line that was in place, uh, which I, well, I guess that almost pretty neat how that one worked out, where it basically matched up perfectly with the purple line right there. I wasn't aware of that. But not only so was the 50 period moving average broken, you know, the trend line right there was also broken. So, again, doesn't mean the chart's totally destroyed. Uh, but it does uh, suggest now that, you know, the, the bears are, are gaining a little bit of steam here. So we'll kind of got to measure that and make sure that that doesn't get too far out of control. What do I mean by out of control? Well, that is definitely where this next key level of support comes into play. And that's down here, which so far so good right there at $6.35. This was a former area of resistance, which you can see right there. And a foundational rule in charting states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see the MACD as support. And that is exactly what happened today. So good, good to see that right now. This level right there is indeed acting as support again. That level sits right at about six dollars and thirty-five cents. If six thirty-five cannot hold up, then the next key level of support after that would be right around that gap close location of six dollars and twenty-five cents. So yes, not the greatest day today, but the chart still got an opportunity to, to work its way back upwards. But definitely, you know, public enemy number one and key level of resistance you want to see broken next week is going to be that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. So next week, looking like it'll be pretty interesting. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.